What's up, guys? Praise the Lord. Hope everyone's doing well in this happy new year. Um, we are going through the Word of God this year. If you have not yet uh, had a chance to jump on that, please get in band um, here locally with uh, Bread Breakers. And uh, we're reading through the Bible together in the, um, in the YouVersion Bible app. And so we've got a couple of links out there, one for the Old Testament to run it through for the year, the other one for the New Testament. For those of you uh, concerned about my safety, fear not, because I am currently eyes on the road 100% completely. That's why I've got the shades on so you can't see that I'm not even looking at the camera. <laughs> but uh, just letting you guys know that in case you were, you were wondering. Um, the uh, the thing I wanted to, to do here is I'm going to start trying to make a few videos here and there, and I encourage uh, some of the other folks, um, maybe on the preaching and teaching team, different people to um, post videos um, that, you know, things that speak to you in the scriptures as we read through the scriptures together. We've got one on the Old Testament, one on the New Testament. If you do both of those plans, then you will get through the Bible this year in 2021. And for some people, that might be the first time you've ever read through the Bible, which is amazing. Uh, and if you only do one of them, maybe it's the first time you've ever read the Old Testament or the first time you've ever read the New Testament. Also amazing, also awesome. Uh, you got to start somewhere. And let's uh, let's do it together, encouraging one another. I'm already seeing some of the, uh, some of the uh, different questions and comments and stuff that people are posting in the app, which is fantastic. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that stood out to me in these first couple of days. And that is, it always does, it always stands out to me when, when we get to you know Cain and Abel and the attitude, the attitude between these two men where you have God and then you have the two men who want to bring a sacrifice to God, Cain and Abel. And Abel brings a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice. He sacrifices an animal. It's the first, you know, firstlings of his of his flock. And the Bible says, you know, God honored his sacrifice. And then you have Cain, and Cain brings of the fruit of the ground. But God did not honor that sacrifice. He doesn't then tell Cain, oh, by the way. You know, you're a bum. Hope you know. I'll catch you next time. Make sure you get it right. Um, but until then, you're going to be cursed with you know some kind of crazy disease or something. He, he tells him, "Listen, listen. This is the sacrifice I want over here. If you will just do right, you're fine. But if you don't, be careful because sin is lying at the door. It wants to, you know, it wants to be a master over you. It wants to rule over you. Um, its desire is for you. I think it's the way some some versions of the Bible." actually read. And you, you, you find this as in the process of time, so a lot of people believe that this is not the first time that they've heard this, that it was a kind of a regular thing, or at least they should have known. They knew that it was supposed to be a, a sacrifice of, uh, you know, an animal, that, this kind of thing. But it doesn't even, it doesn't even really matter. Let's say it was the very first time that God ever asked for a sacrifice, and Abel happened to bring the correct one, and Cain didn't. I mean, God gave the instruction and said, hey, this is the kind of sacrifice I want. If you do right, all's good, bro. Everything's good, Cain. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. But you find that Cain got mad and kills his brother instead of just going and killing the animal that God wanted him to kill and give the correct sacrifice. So, a couple of things that that jump out at me there is how that we often have to check our attitude, our attitude toward God, our attitude toward, I'll say, religion, toward serving God, our relationship with God. Is our attitude, God, I want to be pleasing to you, or is it, I want you to be pleased with what I choose to do? That may seem like just a semantics Difference, so there's not really much difference there, but listen, listen to it again. God, I want to be pleasing to you, or God, I want you to be pleased with what I choose to do. The first one 
is scriptural. The first one is where we find in, say, Ephesians 5, where it says, find out what pleases the Lord. Um, the first one is us seeking God's will, and we conform ourselves to please Him. So if something is not pleasing Him, we refrain from that. Um, if he is not pleased with something that we are that is absent in our lives, then we put that into our lives. The second one is we basically we are going to do what we want to do, and we sure hope that God gets on board and accepts it. That's not how most people would put it, but it is the attitude. That is ultimately what it is, and that's what Cain did. Cain said, "Hey, I brought a sacrifice, right? That's good." Is that good? I mean, you know, he could have said, I'm not giving you a sacrifice. You're not, God. who are you? You're not my God. Um, that's not what he did. He brought a sacrifice. But we must understand, God is not obligated just to accept our leftovers or accept the, the kind of worship that we want to give him. Well, he wants this. He wants A. But we don't want to give A. We're going to give B, and we want God to bless it. It's not how it works. We are to, we... We, he is the master. We are the servants. He is Lord, not us. And so we are supposed to give him what he wants. And that is how he is pleased. It's not that he, uh, he loves us and so whatever we do, he's going to back up and be pleased with. It's he loves us. He has a set of things, priorities, uh, uh, rules and regulations, uh, things that we must abide by, we're supposed to abide by. Uh, and that's the lane that we're supposed to be driving in. That's when he's pleased. He is not pleased if we decide to drive in the other lane, but still, you know, blow kisses to him or something. So I think we should just, just think about that. Think about whether our attitude is, God, I just want to be pleasing to you. Just show me how, and I will do it. I will change in any way that I need to. I will repent of things that are that are, that are are not good in my life or whatever it is. I just want you. I just want relationship with you. I just want to be pleasing to you. Or are we of the mindset that I don't really care what you want. You <laughs> just be glad I got you something. That really... I'll say draws a huge line and difference between so many people. I will tell you, I've seen many people unsuccessful in their walk with God, uh, floundering around, up and down, up and down, up and down, or in and out and in and out of church or whatever, struggling with ministry, different things. And that is why. It's because they really have not truly, I'll say, repented, because repentance means you're going to follow God. They haven't really truly repented. And that's what we need. We need true repentance. Side note on this, um, maybe I'll, on the next one I'll I'll talk a little bit more about this. I'm getting uh, getting to the point where I don't want to I want to be doing longer videos than say ten minutes. So here we go. Cain killed his brother. Often that's exactly how it works. We don't do what we're supposed to do, and then we're going to turn around. People that are doing what they're supposed to do, that God does approve of, when He disapproves of us. Instead of killing ourselves spiritually, repenting, breaking ourselves down and being what God wants, we tear down and break down others. We try to destroy others. We talk about them. We say negative things. We think negative things. Maybe try to destroy somebody's character or point out, well, this other area that they're not doing good in. That's how we tend to do it. That has been from the beginning. The original guy who had his own religion where he was going to dictate what God should and should not receive, what did he do? When he was confronted with pure religion, he instead attacked the pure religion and killed his brother. So let's uh, examine ourselves. Let's repent maybe one more time. Just get on that altar and repent be uh, transformed by the renewing of our mind, not conformed to this world, and go forward in God. I hope this has uh, has blessed you. I hope this has encouraged you. And uh, let's let's go from here, not with just the knowledge of it, but let's do it for the glory of Jesus Christ. Love you guys. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next vid.